This race is too close to call, and you could tell by how fiercely the two candidates went at each other here at Bellarmine University. You have never had a child in public school a day in your life, their lives, and it's crazy. You say you're for public school, but you've never trusted the public schools in our state with the education of your own children. What speaks volumes is a governor that would go after somebody's kids. Has nothing, has nothing Listen, to do with I your children. I make you a few promises. I will never bully other Kentuckians from the governor's office. Education was, of course, a hot topic. So was casino gambling. The reason that our counties are scrambling for this extra revenue is this governor has pushed all of those pension costs down on top of them. Instead of looking at new revenue sources where Indiana's eating our lunch. This is not going to go away with diatribe. It's not going to go away with wishful thinking. And I can tell you right now, there is 0% chance that this legislature will ever pass casino gambling in this state. At one point, Bevan denied making statements recorded in a widely publicized radio interview. This is just more of the same from a governor who says that someone commits suicide on a casino floor every night. I don't know where this comment about the casinos is. I've never said anything like that in my life. That's absolute malarkey. But you, I will say this. You deny saying you were, that? I do deny saying it. Really? Yes. It's I on said, tape. I said, no, it isn't on tape. You're not telling the truth. Bevan made sure to remind viewers he is pro-life. I support reasonable restrictions, especially on late-term procedures. But that 13-year-old that I'm talking about, raped by a member of her family, this governor has told you he's going to eliminate every option for that child. How many of them were there in Kentucky last year? Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.